With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. Yesterday at Tenaha ISD, they had a school lockdown from about 8.15 to 8.55. According to Tenaha ISD Superintendent Scott Tyner, the school received a call of a possible bomb threat. The school was placed on lockdown, the students evacuated to the football stadium, and the school was searched and deemed to be safe. Moving along in your community news, in center yesterday, Larry Hume, VFW Post Quartermaster of Post 8905, Four, hosted a reef lane ceremony honoring all those who served in Operation Desert Storm yesterday. Well, good. Thank you for being here today. The Gulf War codename Operation Desert Storm began on January 17, 1991, when coalition forces from 34 nations, led by the United States, began aerial bombardment of Iraq. This was in response to Iraq's invasion and annexation of Kuwait. A week later, on January 24th, a ground assault began on the liberation of Kuwait and advancement into Iraqi territory. And when the war ended, February 28th, 1991, 26 years ago today, 148 Americans had died in battle, and there was another 145 non-battle deaths and 467 wounded in action. The Timpson Area Chamber of Commerce is proud to announce its upcoming fundraiser, East Texas on Display, featuring original creations by local artists from across East Texas. The event will take place on Saturday, March the 4th at 2 to 7 p.m. in downtown Timpson. That's this coming Saturday. Tri-County Community Action will hold a board meeting on Monday, March the 6th. That's this next Monday in Center. For more information, please contact Yolanda Neal at 598-6315. That's 598-6315. The Shelby County Livestock Show and Sale is coming up. The show will begin tomorrow at the Shelby County Expo Center. The sale will begin this Saturday, March the 4th, at the John Dean Wyndham Civic Center, starting at 6 p.m. Live coverage will be available from us at Center Broadcasting Company starting at 7 p.m. this Saturday. And that will be broadcast on 100.5 FM. That's KQBB 100.5 FM. The first annual Stanley Brigade Memorial Bass Fishing Tournament is coming up. It's going to be held in March, starting March the 25th, 6.45 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Castle Boykins Park. Located in Zavala, Texas, and it is $150 per team to enter. Moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Michael Stove Kelly Jr., age 24, of Carthage, violation of probation. Jason Henson, age 42, of St. Augustine, theft and failure to appear. Bradley Porter, age 25, of Center, aggravated assault, criminal mischief, driving while intoxicated, and violation of probation. In your obituaries this morning, 65-year-old Ann Glaze of Joaquin passed away Saturday the 25th in Joaquin. Her services took place yesterday at the Watson Sons Chapel. Services for 65-year-old Roger Lee Ross of Kilgore will be held today at 1 p.m. at the Brooklyn Cemetery in Joaquin with Sister Jesse Cook officiating. Services are pending at the Mangum Funeral Home for Miss Sandy Sinclair. She passed away on Tuesday, February the 28th. Mr. Charles Lee Chim Chumbly, age 76, of the East Hamilton community, passed away this past Saturday at Nacogdoches Memorial Hospital. Services will be held Saturday at 1 p.m. at East Hamilton Baptist Church in Shelbyville. Interment will follow at the Britton Creek Cemetery in East Hamilton with Bishop Zepp Swindle officiating. He is survived by his wife, Grace Session Chumbly of Shelbyville, five sons, Claude Chumbly, Charles Chumbly, Anthony Chumbly, Kenneth Boyd, and Kendrick Boyd, all of center, three daughters, Demetrius Smith, Claudine King, and Jamaica Bennett, and five brothers, along with a host of other friends and family. And in your sports this morning, the center Rough Riders demolished Pleasant Grove last night in the regional conference game. Center came out on top with a final score of center 72, Pleasant Grove 58. The Shelbyville Dragons tore apart Eva Dale with a close game. Shelbyville Dragons 85, Eva Dale 82. Tenaha Tigers came on top against the St. Augustine Wolves last night with a final score of Tenaha 74, St. Augustine 70. This has been your local and area news.